What is JavaScript? Let's have a look at a typical web page with a client, so the browser, and our server. We send a request because we enter some URL and we get back a couple of files. HTML files maybe for different pages, CSS files for styling because HTML gives us the structure, CSS gives us the style, and JavaScript, which is capable of running in the browser to change content, for example, after the page has been loaded. So JavaScript allows us to add a lot of logic to our app because we can do stuff in response to user events or whatever we wanna do. For example, we could dynamically add and remove elements to the page without the user needing to load a new page. JavaScript also runs on the server, by the way, for server-side logic with Node.js. There we can also interact with databases and so on, something we can't do from the browser because we well, need the connection on the server for that. So let's do that differentiation between the browser and the server where we use Node.js. That's the name of JavaScript on the server essentially. On the browser we use it to change content after the page load, that's the cool thing. We have full control over the page, we can do with it what we want. We have full control over the user input, we can react to events and use that input data and so on. On the server we handle requests and responses, we connect to a database, we can do file operations, user authentication, we can render new pages, so send new HTML pages back to the client as a response. And it competes with PHP and Ruby there on the client, so in the browser, it's exclusive, there is no alternative. JavaScript is the only language that runs there. Overall, one cool thing about JavaScript is its high flexibility. It's really a language that's easy to learn and that's easy to use, as you will see on Academind.